Hello, today we're going to do a brief overview of what modularity is. So I'm going to first explain what it is. And after that, we're going to go over the workflow. I will not, men I will not cover textures completely, but I will mention a few things that you have to keep in mind due to the nature of modularity. So modularity pretty much is a few pieces like these for example or these that you use afterwards to make like a building or something this is pretty useful especially in game development so if you want to make like a very big city or a few buildings or whatever this could be this could save you a lot of time so most games now AAA games actually use parts to create their worlds like for example fallout so now that we know what it is, we're going to first do a some very, very simple examples just to get the glimpse of it. So we're going to get our snap on and we want to go into edit mode. We want to move this over here so that we have our vertice and the corner. The reason we want the, sorry, not the vertice, the origin. The reason why we want the origin in the corner is let's say we have a wall or a staircase or whatever and we want to rotate it. If we had it in a different place it wouldn't rotate like we want it to. So if we rotate it now as you can see it's pretty smooth but if we had for example the origin somewhere completely different you don't really have too much control of where it's going to be so that's something that's essential doesn't matter what piece it is so let's say we want to make a wall let's just move this up so here we have a wall let's duplicate that and let's maybe make a door so I want you to do a two loop cuts Scale on the Y. I'm going to make sure I fill these in. After we do this, I will uh, go over a, I'll do a better example. This is just so you understand how it works. So this is our door and let's also make a corner, which is pretty important so let's do a loop cut over here let's extrude so with these pieces let's well I want you to move them back we could build for example the interior of a building so let's try to make something cool so as you can see, having the vertice and the corner really helps a lot when it comes to rotating. So we could keep going and We can, something that re could really save you a lot of time is using arrays in case you want to speed up, if like you want to make a wall or something. So we're pretty much done here. Well, we don't have to keep going, but this is just uh, so you get an idea. So now let's try to make something a bit more complicated, but before we go into that, I do want to mention something about the textures. So something very important is that the pieces have to m look like they are like they fit with each other. So if you have like so if you're using textures, this could be a bit complicated because let's say for example that we have a cube. And let's add a quick texture to this. Let's go into cycles.
I'm just going to pick out a texture that I have. Um, this one. So let's open the image. Let's go into materials. To te and let's do a UV unwrap. So let's say this is our piece, okay? So if I duplicate this to create a piece that goes next to it, you'll find out that they don't really fit too well together. Like this square is really long and it has to be shorter. So you have to be really careful when adding textures to your objects, which might be a big drawback to modularity in some cases. So let's try to do a brick wall, very simple. So let's go into edit mode and let's put that vertice in the corner. And I want you to select this face, move it up. And I want you to add two loop cuts. Right over there. I want you to select those two faces and extrude just a little bit. And actually, we might want to move this a bit up. So now we want to do a few more loop cuts and we want to make sure uh, it's not an even number of loop cuts, okay? Oops. And once we have that, we want to make two more. So now we want to select our edges like this and we want to dissolve the edges. So as you can see, we already kind of have like the layout for our bricks, but if we go into object mode, we'll see there are like, we need to kind of like make those paces between the bricks. So to do that, um, we're going to select every single edge and you want to make sure you do not select any of these, okay? And also select the ones over here and down there. So once we have that, we'll do a bevel, which might not be the best way to do, to do this, but it's one way. And we want to press S to scale and X zero, okay? So once we have that, if we select our faces, we can now extrude them. And now, if, and now we have pretty much our piece. So if we do an array, we'll see that they are seamless. We can add as many as we want. And we can also make a corner pretty easily out of this. So I really hope you got the main idea of what modularity is and also have an idea of how to work around it because it can be a little bit complicated. So if you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. I'll try to reach out to you. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.